internet, how's it going? One of the greatest animes of, of all time has finally ended and I guess it has ended, ended, but it is called Fantasy Star Online. And since Fantasy Star Online has finally ended with its season finale of them finally destroying the king of all darkers and shit, well now, and them putting their hands together to bust some of that Mighty Morphin Power Ranger shit to split the heavens with their drill and slice this fucker in half, what's next for everybody? Graduation. You know, so, well, at least it's graduation for Reyna, and fucking Iski still hasn't picked up the courage, courage to say, hey, Ika's gone. What about, to say, what about you and me? And when he was about to do something, Ika showed up for the last day to say, I can pop up whenever the fuck I feel like it. I was just, I just had shit to do. So, of course, you know, the show kind of ends on a very interesting note of, of now Iski's the president, Reyna's leaving, um, Aika's back for like a little bit to fucking pronounce her love for everybody, or at least for those two, and then pretty much afterwards she just leaves. Or at least that's kind of how the, how the series ends. And as far as I know, it's like, this series kind of was really okay. The only real thing that I kind of really the only thing that I really wish would have been a major focus early on, because this is kind of an argument for a lot for a lot of the anime last season, or at least this season, and that and that was, um, and that and that was most of it, or at least most of the stuff stuff in which that I watched. It started out pretty nice, and then, or at least it started out like in a way in which that the story plot probably should have been the main focus early on instead of trying to make that like the story plot like later on or something like that you know but you know like the whole thing of them now jumping into the world of the video game and stuff like that i mean like they hinted at it but really that shit only became like a fucking like forethought like at the end of, at the end of episode 9 leading into episode 10 and 11 and 12 and 13 so well, it's 12, I believe. But until then, I'll see you next time on the next John Grave Show. This series was actually pretty nice. I do recommend it for everybody. And other than that, it was actually pretty swell and smooth. But I will be happy, though. It didn't piss me off like how uh, like how Magical Warfare did. So, thumbs up for that. I'm out. Hey, Internet. How's it going? I'm Batman. And I'm here to tell everybody to go ahead and check out this little book right here. It's called Ibarra's by my friend Deshaun R. Smith. And my book is in the back. My book is called uh, Noir Prophecy, along with our crazy little um, uh, little uh, collaboration book, Mizuki Dragon Warriors. And you can read the first introduction, or like you can read the, uh, the introduction, the first the first few pages of it, and go ahead and check it out and show us some support and love. I'll leave a link down there in the description for it. Also, if you like this video, please go ahead and click over there and uh, go ahead and click on the link. It'll take you right, right, right to my last video. I'll see you next time on the next John Grave Show. Please keep watching. I'm gonna keep playing video games, and remember, I'm Batman.